take a moment and explain why your feet do not grow during pregnancy. Many people believe that they actually grow during pregnancy, but what's happening is your foot's actually collapsing, not growing. So say this is your foot, this is your heel, this is your arch, these are your toes. Ideally, your weight is centered over the ankle and the knee rather than push forward over the arch of the foot. And so when you're carrying your weight over the arch, you'll collapse it. And you see how my hand appeared to grow longer. So this is with the arch and then the, this is collapsed. Shorter and longer. So it's easy to see why people would think their feet actually grow because that's going to require you to get a longer shoe if you're continuing to carry your weight in front. And so what I mean by weight in front I'm going to grab a plumb line, and so ideally your weight falls from, well your, your pelvis is backed up over midpoint of the knee and the ankle, and so I'm dropping the plumb line from my greater trochanter, so it's that bony protrudence that sticks out if you go down the side of your hip and you hit a bone, that's your greater trochanter, and you see how the plumb line drops midpoint between knee and ankle? Well, I see a lot of people carrying their weight in front, and so you can see where that plumb line goes over the either the ball of the foot or the arch area. And so you add the extra weight of pregnancy, and that's a lot of weight that your body has to, your feet have to support. So to demonstrate what happens in the feet when you migrate your hips forward, you can see my two feet here about eight inches long and my weight is in that plumb line midpoint between the knee and the ankle. But if I migrate my hips forward, you can see how it appears to lengthen my foot past eight inches. And I back my weight up. So I have the weight going through the midpoint of the knee and ankle again, back to eight inches. And if I allow my pelvis to move forward, it lengthens my feet again.